ISD's Booker T. Washington High School, including Nora Jones and Erica Badu, our Grammy winners. And now the school is getting ready to celebrate a huge milestone. Here's Demon Fernandez. Behind the walls of Booker T. Washington High School in Dallas, <laughs> young artists are hard at work. And our archives confirm that's always been the case at this Dallas ISD arts magnet over the past 45 years. Music, uh, theater, visual arts, and dance. But the unique history of this school dates back decades earlier to 1922. And it's something the campus and the community are preparing to recognize in a big way. We're truly excited that this is our 100 year anniversary at Booker T. Washington High School. Dr. Scott Rhodes is principal of the Booker T. Washington High School for the Performing and Visual Arts. He says the campus is planning major events to celebrate its 100 years of rich history in Dallas. We stand on the shoulders of giants. Booker T. Washington's original campus was built in 1922, and at the time, it was the city's only high school for African Americans. Students were called the Booker T. Bulldogs. Among its alumni, baseball great Ernie Mr. Cub Banks and esteemed playwright Dr. Ted Shine. Students walked for miles to come to Booker T just for the educational opportunities that is presented. Desegregation changed the dynamics at this school. In 1976, Booker T Washington High School became one of the first arts magnets in the country. It's a landmark and it has given so much to so many people. As this campus prepares to celebrate Booker T Washington High School's centennial. This is a very special year. Its overarching theme is two schools, one story. The staff at this globally recognized school is collecting oral history from decades of graduates. The centennial celebrations culminate in March with the school's first arts and culture festival. In Dallas, I'm Damon Fernandez.